uh, I came home from California uh, in 1991 and uh, to see my parents and dad who was an air conditioning and heating engineer had closed off the back half of the house because um, because they were empty nesters and so they he didn't want to pay the huge bills for for uh, heating or air conditioning it was a wise thing to do but I came home and um, I wasn't feeling great only was home for a few days and then went back to LA and really wasn't feeling great and called into my job and and said I wasn't well. <clears throat> Prior to that, anytime anyone told me, oh, I had that flu for two weeks, well, I, I think it was possible. So it took me a long time to pay attention and to notice what would happen that would then cause me to cough or get sick the next day. So it was, uh, it was a, a trial and error until I found out. And it turns out that basically, I almost can't be around anything. Um, I was chemically poisoned, um, and also uh, at about the same time had apparently uh, breathed in mold in the back half of the house that dad had closed off because uh, we live in Oklahoma and it's very humid. Apparently it's, uh, I have some sort of multiple chemical poisoning and it's all listed actually, uh, it's, it's a real thing. I, I started, when I began to do the trial and error myself and find out what was happening to me because nobody else knew, um, I noticed and then I thought, well, I'll see what the American Lung Association says. The American Lung Association lists pretty much a list that exactly coincides with what, ha what the things that debilitate me. Um, petrochemicals, which um, are in most cleaning substances. Um, uh, laundry detergents, because anytime you, on any product that you see the word fragrance, it's a pretty cloaking word for toxic, proven toxic. Look on American, uh, uh, American Lung Association, um, toxic petrochemicals. They're not good for anybody, but if your immune system has not yet been compromised by them or poisoned by them, you might barely notice. A lot of people sneeze when you pour out your laundry detergent and that's because your body is saying kick this out it's not good for you and my body since it's already been compromised and poisoned uh, it's a lot more than that um, I just I just can't be around it I have to protect myself I've had countless uh, ambulance trips to the hospital I've had I've had countless breathing treatments. Um, pretty common most every day is dizziness, um, brain fog. Brain fog is one of them. All the uh, symptoms, uh, like I said, are listed. You could Google. Um, you could uh, Google chemical reactions. Um, medical chemical reactions, something along that line. Um, and now I'm to the point where I vomit when I'm around uh, petrochemicals. Simultaneously, concurrently with the mold and fungus in my lungs from my bedroom at my father's house, because it had been shut up and because of the humidity and it was able to grow. Um, no one in our family ever had breathing problems. So I had heard the word asthma. I knew nothing about it. I didn't even know anyone who had asthma. 
I had heard the word allergies, but when people think of allergies, they think of pollen time. I don't have those allergies. I just read something about that oh, in the article that I printed out about my, my chemical poisoning. Um, it spells out my life t to a T in every detail. And if we're chemically poisoned, we don't uh, react to pollen. There's no good or bad season. It's just whatever the substances are that can pretty much bam. Um, there, for anyone who has breathing problems, there's uh, dust, uh, an accumulation of dust, dust mites, dust mite dungs. Dust mite dung is pretty much everybody who has any kind of lung issue. Um, like I said, cigarette smoke, and who would want to be around that anyway because it's 70 cancer causing chemicals so if someone lights up I have to get away somehow I have to walk away I have to say excuse me I'm sick I can't be around that I have to leave um, I don't want to faint and I don't want to have to call an ambulance so that's kind of a short the short list an overview of uh, the problems the breathing problems are every day, pretty much every hour. Um, but if I'm in uh, a house that has not been smoked in, that uh, the resident does not go around using Glade plug-ins or spraying things to make it smell good, because all of those products have a substance called, quote, fragrance, unquote, which is a toxic petrochemical. And the truth is everybody would be healthier without them, but if I had known this when I was a teenager, I probably would have ignored it because I wanted to smell pretty, I wanted to catch a boy. So, um, yeah, so I hope that that helps you understand.